Welcome to 10 minutes of BBTV News brought to you by Bing Phuc Television and Newspaper. I'm the one with the latest news update and let's take a look at the top stories for today's news. Conference to propose initiatives for tourism development in Bing Phuc. Meeting held to mark 41st Vietnamese Teachers Day. President missed Vietnamese community in U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, Chairwoman of the Bing Phuc Provincial People's Committee Chen Tuệ Hien and leaders from the province tourism sector and relevant authorities attended a recent national teleconference discussing the rapid and sustainable development of Vietnam's tourism sector, chaired by Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính. Participants looked into obstacles and proposed solutions to attract visitors and achieve rapid and sustainable tourism development. They also discussed the role of localities and organizations in destination management and promotion, the role of Vietnam's overseas diplomatic representative agencies and measures to increase tourist spending through shopping. Addressing the event, Prime Minister Ching emphasized that to develop tourism into a spearhead economic sector, the country's tourism industry needs to instigate a genuine transformation in thinking and approach. This involves taking creative, breakthrough, concerted and effective measures while adopting a strategy of close links, smooth coordination and comprehensive cooperation, the Prime Minister added. The government's leader also asked participants to clarify content and requirements related to mechanisms and policies for tourism development. The Bing Phuc Department of Education and Training held a meeting on November 15th to celebrate the 41st Vietnamese Teachers' Day. Deputy Chairwoman of the Provincial People's Committee, Chen Tuyết Minh, attended the ceremony. Participants affirmed that respecting teachers is a long-held tradition of the Vietnamese people. Teachers' job is considered a noble profession, and teachers are respected by all, regardless of their social status. Many teachers in Bing Phu province work hard to excel in the profession and have made significant contributions to the local education sector. Those in remote areas of the province have tried to eradicate illiteracy among local ethnic minority communities despite facing material difficulties. Speaking at the meeting, Vice Chairwoman Chen Tuyết Minh expressed her gratitude towards local teachers and praised them for their contributions to the education sector. She affirmed that provincial leaders give serious attention to education and spoke highly of the sector's achievements in recent times. She asked localities to continue adhering to poly and state policies on education, especially on building a capable workforce of teachers and educational staff that meet requirements in educational reforms. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the organizing committee of the first Bing Phuc Chuyen Marathon, a total of 2,225 people have registered to compete in four categories of 5 km, 10 km, 25 km, and 41 km. 47 of the runners are foreigners and 765 from other localities around Vietnam. All preparations are now in place. The organizing committee has made careful plans regarding the route, drinking stations, accommodation and catering. 350 volunteers, 30 race officials, 5 ambulances and 5 groups of health workers have been recruited to ensure safety of the athletes. The director and editor-in-chief of the Bing Phuc TV and radio station and Bing Phuc newspaper said this first Bing Phuc Chung Tui Marathon is the largest such event held in the province. He affirmed that the marathon is a golden opportunity for Bing Phuc to promote its image among domestic and international friends and boost local tourism. As a host organizer, Bing Phuc TV has been working hard to ensure the marathon's success, he added. Moving on to the top stories around the country, State President Van Thuong is in the United States for Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation of the APEC Leaders Meeting 2023. The following are his activities. On November 14, local time, President Vo Van Thuong had a meeting with representatives of the Vietnamese community in the U.S. 
Thuong emphasized the foreign policy of diversification and multilateralization in international relations of the party and state. He highly valued contributions by the diplomatic sector, including Vietnamese representative agencies in the U.S., to those achievements. The leader urged the embassy and Vietnamese representative agencies in the U.S. to strive to promptly concretize cooperation agreements between the two countries and ordered ministries, sectors, and localities of Vietnam to actively participate in this process. He asked the permanent mission of Vietnam to the UN to work harder to expand the ties between Vietnam and international organizations, establish cooperative partnerships, and advance Vietnam's position and prestige. At present, about 30,000 Vietnamese students are studying in the U.S., ranking fifth in the world and first in Southeast Asia. Hungarian Minister of Justice is paying a visit to Vietnam. On November 15, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Trinh hosted a reception for the Hungarian minister. The host leader congratulated achievements that Hungary has gained in socio-economic development, appreciating Hungary's role and prestige in the region and the world. Prime Minister Ching said, the government of Vietnam is making efforts to continue building and perfecting the Vietnamese socialist rule of law state, of the people, by the people, and for the people, under the leadership of the Communist Party of Vietnam. In its development process, Vietnam is also interested, proactive, and active in international cooperation, and sharing with other countries to develop together, he added. Minister Bentz Chuzon briefed the host about his successful meeting with his Vietnamese counterpart Le Ton Long, where the two sides agreed on directions and solutions to promote cooperation between the two ministries in the coming time. Defense Minister General Phan Văn Giang is leading a high-ranking delegation of the Vietnamese Ministry of National Defense to attend the 17th ASEAN Defense Minister Meeting, or the ADMM, ADMM Plus, and the related meetings in Jakarta, Indonesia. On November 15, the 17th ADMM adopted the Jakarta Joint Declaration for Peace, Prosperity and Security. The document recognizes security threats, geopolitical shifts, and the impact of competition among major powers that may affect ASEAN. The declaration emphasizes the importance of adhering to the United Nations Charter, the ASEAN Charter, the Treaty of Amity and Cooperation in Southeast Asia, the Bali Process, as well as international law, maintaining peace, prosperity, and security in the region. Among others, the Vietnamese delegation led by Minister of National Defense, General Phan Van Jang proactively contributed to the meeting's success. General Jang and other head delegates also approved the draft amendments to the standard operating procedures of ASEAN, evaluation of the current cycle of ADMM experts working groups, and others. Within the framework of ADMM 17, ASEAN defense ministers had an informal meeting with their U.S. counterpart Lloyd Austin. Lloyd Austin said, the U.S. wants to promote defense cooperation with ASEAN, in a more effective and practical for regional peace and security. Speaking at the meeting, General Phan Van Zong said, that ensuring a peaceful and stable environment in the region, including the East Sea, is always the common concern and interest of countries. The general stressed, Vietnam will continue to actively participate in cooperative activities between ASEAN and the U.S., especially within the framework of ADMM+. On the sidelines of the meeting, General Zong and U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin discussed measures to promote bilateral defense cooperation. Hanoi attracted over 2.6 billion U.S. dollars in foreign direct investment, or the FDI, in the first 10 months of this year, which made it the third largest destination of FDI in the country during the period. According to Hanoi Authority of Planning and Investment, Hanoi expects to attract about 485 million U.S. dollars in the two remaining months of this year. The city will strive to get about 3.2 billion US dollars in FDI next year and about 2.7 billion US dollars in 2025. As the country is entering a period of deeper economic integration, 
the city's authority considers the business community in general and FDI businesses in particular a key driver of the city's economic growth and integration. The Municipal People's Committee requested departments, branches and local authorities to intensify administrative procedure reforms, promptly solve obstacles and boost investment promotion activities. Investment promotion activities must be carried out economically, practically and effectively. Relevant departments and agencies should provide sufficient information and timely support to investors. And that is the end of our bulletin today. To rewrite this news, you can download the BBTV Go mobile app or visit our website and YouTube channel. Now, thanks for staying with us and see you next time. Mm -hmm.